Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Lady Ashley coming at you with this video that is long, long overdue. I wanted to give you an update of what's been going on with me and also um, my Castor Oil challenge is almost over um the last time i did that video was april 8th and i got about eight more day eight more days left um with the castor oil um, ch um challenge and i wanted to give you a review on that and just in general what i'm going to be doing in the future and why I am taking so long to get cameras up and running. I don't oh, listen, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I need I need to get the money to get a good camera, to get um good lighting. I'm always in my bathroom. I would like to one day sit in my living room and give you a good scene. You know what I'm saying? God, I always gotta be standing up holding this camera over and over again just so that you can get good lighting and all of that good stuff. But Anyway, time will come. Season will come. You have to start from somewhere, right? Anyway, what's up to all my YouTubers, subscribers? I only have about eight. <laughs> but you know what? I laugh. You laugh now. Eight is going to turn into 800. No, going to turn into 80 and into 800, into 8,000, and then into 80,000. I believe God for it. I believe God. That is going to get higher and higher. All right. But anyway, um, in my last video, I said that I wanted to um, do a 30-day castor oil challenge. And I went to New York and I was able to purchase a Jamaican um, pure castor oil bottle. It was called Zion, I believe. Let me see. It's right here anyway. It's called Zion. Uh Jamaican castor oil and um, I've been putting it in my hair twice once in the morning and once before I go to my bed at night and I noticed that it's very soft and the even the little my little edges are kind of like growing in a little bit and it's gotten so much more thicker length um I blew out my hair um, a couple of days back because I was at a wedding and I wanted to put my hair more like in a slick ponytail. But when I did blow out my hair, it was like down to here, which was very surprising because I was like, wow, it's cut. it did grow. It grew a lot. Um, would I do this again? Sure, I would do this again. It's very oily though. That's the only thing about the castor oil is that it can leave your hair very, very oily. And um, that's something that, not that I, I don't like the feeling of it. Like that's what we need as natural people, natural hair, natural hair or naturalista persons. We do need the moisture, but at the same time, I just don't like the oiliness i just don't like the oily 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 i don't like it you know what i mean i really don't like the oiliness so um but other than that it's a good 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 um supplement to use in your hair and it helps with thickness and growth and your edges if you don't have any sides like you know right here if you don't have any sides well my sides is not that bad like there are people who are thinning like all the way through here and it starts right here if you have that kind of issue then castor oil is the thing to use to regain your edges back to regain your edges back okay all of those who are going through um natural hair you should be able to use that okay so i got eight more days left and um i've been co-washing i did co-wash um in between that one time and then i just went back to my regimen of doing twist outs and and doing what i need to do um this hair has been blown out but it's kind of reverting back a little bit because it's been blown out like um from since saturday but it's getting back to its waviness because i haven't done anything to it i did um 
just just left it. I do have to wash it again this weekend, and then that's it for the castor oil. That is it for the castor oil, you guys. Um, what's been going on with me? I've just been so busy with school and 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 just been so busy with ministry and church and different things. Um, I haven't been on YouTube. For a minute because um, one, I slipped and fell in this very same bathroom that I'm standing in right now. How it happened, it just happened so quickly. And I thought I broke my nose, you guys, because I fell flat, straight on my nose. And um, it, all over here was bruised up. The it's, it's a discoloration now. It's black. And I don't know how to get it off. And I'm, I've been asking people... What I should use to get like the, the the scarring off my nose, and um, I've heard of aloe vera. People are saying to go and get the plant itself, and just pretty much just scrape off the jelly and put the jelly there, and then use the rest and rest and mask my mask my hair. Have an aloe vera ha aloe treatment for my hair, and that sounds really good, huh? So um, let me know in your comment below and um, let me know what do you use for scarring to take off the scarring off of your face um, I have a little one here above my lip and right under my nose and a little tiny one right here because this is where the bruises were the majority of my bruise was like right here on my nose and on my lip um, and there's a little bit of discoloration on my on my lip. This is not like, like the real true color of my lip, you guys. So, I would like for you to just leave some comments and let me know what you have used in the past to take away scarring on your face so that your skin can be even again. Please let me know, okay? Rate, subscribe, and comment and I will talk to you really really soon. Bye. God bless.